would have loved a better start to this video, but the bugs were just, oh my God, bad up here today. And uh, they're just all over him. So I rushed right in, grabbed a couple rolls of birch bark to, to get some smoke moving and cleared them out of here. Oh, wow. It's probably the worst I've seen it up here, but that, it's not gonna stop me from being here today. But it was pretty rough. Deer flies, I hate deer flies the most, and uh, they are bad. Darn. Stop eating random stuff, you're gonna get sick, buddy.
What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> As you see in front of you is uh, Thorin. And I haven't done a video about him uh, since we got him. And I've not had a lot of outings recently. Uh, new house, uh, joining with uh, Adventure Sworn, Cody and Amber, uh, getting uh, their business moved here, us getting ourselves established in a new workshop, a workflow. It's, uh, it's definitely taken up all my time. Uh, we're super busy, which is awesome. And uh, we've got a workflow going now that's going to hopefully allow us to get out a little more. And that was the intention today. Uh, as you saw in the beginning part of the video, we, we did get out this morning. And uh, the, the bugs were just, normally I'm not one to complain. Um, as you guys have seen out throughout the years, I get out at all times of the year regardless of the bug situation. But today was just, that's, that's one of the worst days I think I've ever had. Um, on the way in with Thorin, uh, I immediately started grabbing birch bark. And by the time I got to the, to the spot where we like to go, I threw it right into the fire pit and immediately struck it up. Because it was just, uh, I had to get some smoke moving to get the bugs off. And they continued until uh, Cody and his brother Tyler, who also is working here now, uh, got to the to the shop, or excuse me, to the campsite, and then we had a fire going just to get them down. And we had coffee and we had a little bacon. And we shot the uh, shot the ship for a little while, but uh, even then, it's just like it's just like it's time to go. It was it was pretty rough. Normally, I don't complain about bugs, but it was pretty tough. So uh, you know, the thorn wasn't too bad. His coat prevented them from really giving him too much hassle, but they did get in his ears a bit. Um, but he seems to be, there's not really any spotting or swelling now, so it, not too bad. He did pretty good. Uh, this was Thorin's first trip in the backwoods, and uh, he was just uh, full of energy. Uh, I would have taken more video, but the hassle of, <laughs> of the deer flies and mosquitoes just made it so annoying to sit there and work the camera. And uh, that just happens sometimes. It took, the, uh, it took everything I wanted to do today right out of me. Uh, so I figured at the very least I'd get into the shop today and uh, introduce you to Thorin, and uh, he is he is my dog. Uh, he is a Norwegian elk count. If anybody's, I'm sure somebody's going to ask or say what he is and not be right. Uh, he's been called everything from a um, from a husky to a German Shepherd to everything else. Uh, a lot of it's just not a familiar breed up here, and I've certainly never run into another one. I'm sure there are. We got him from a breeder in Southern New York. Uh, it's just not something you run into a lot. But anyway, you know, uh, having a Norwegian heritage, and I've always seen these dogs, and they've always fascinated. They are an Arctic breed, which is awesome. Uh, I want a dog that's very hardy in the winter. As you guys know, winter is my time for, for uh, getting out. That's my woodcraft time. Uh, summers are usually what slows down for me, and I focus on other things. But um, he, did, he was a puppy when we got him in February. He was uh, a little over 13 weeks. And he loves the snow, he likes to do belly slides, so come this next winter, um, he'll have calmed down and his training's doing pretty good. He's, he's a little tough on new people, and he does a lot of jumping, but it's slowly getting much better. And uh, he's doing pretty good, I think he's going to be a good dog. He did well today, and I'm very happy with that. And he is just tired, he is, he is worn out. He loves the water, which is very cool. Come here. You want to say hi? You, say hi? you just want to go to bed, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's hot out too, so it's a little rough on a dog like this, but he's not doing too bad. If you got to ask where I got the name Thorin, you haven't paid attention to me for too long. Obviously, it's from The Hobbit. <laughs> so, but it, it matched him. He got his name uh, as we picked him up on the two hour drive back home. Uh, just kind of came up and it worked, so it, uh, it definitely fits him. And he'll get a little bigger than he is now. He's got quite a bit more growing to do. He'll, he'll fill out more. He probably won't get too much taller, but he'll, he'll definitely fill out. And you're going to see a lot more of my upcoming videos. And, uh, you know, this one, I, like I said, I intended a whole lot of different stuff for this video. I want to do a lot of filming today out there. It took it right out of me. So I figured I'd bring him out and introduce him. And maybe uh, I'll hold off on uploading this video and, uh, you know, do some videoing shop time tomorrow. I'm going to finish up a few knives on the bench over there. Maybe I'll cut away. Uh, right now and show you some of those show you a new one. I finished for myself. Yes. Yes I know I got a problem of collecting wood lures, but yeah, I made another one 
And there he is chewing something on the floor. That's great. But uh, sorry, I'm just not getting a lot of videos out right now. That's going to change. Uh, you know, with everything going on, we're going to get a workflow that's a little bit better to allow us to get out more. Like I said, this is, that was what today's intention was. It just works out the way it works out. So uh, hang tight, guys. More content is coming soon. A lot of exciting new things, and uh, thanks for supporting us. You guys are curious. This is the one I recently did for myself. I wanted another bird's eye. Haven't had one in a couple of years. <clears throat> so we knocked, uh, Cody knocked up this blank for me. And it's got stabilized bird's eye with bright red micarna liners. And I even got a little fancy and gave it a mosaic too. Yeah, yeah. But that was what I had out today. It worked really nice. And uh, just another great addition to the collection. And you'll see more of that in upcoming videos. And some of the ones I'm working on, here is a uh, classic or, you know, Woodlord style, uh, if you prefer. Uh, this one actually has burgundy liners with iron wood. So I got a lot more shaping to do on that tomorrow. And we'll probably finish it up tomorrow. And this is a Nesmuk or guide style as we call it. It's got maple, maple handles, brass fittings. Also got burgundy liners. This is ready for a final grit and then uh, to the polish. Something new we're trying. Uh, camo micarta. Totally didn't like this at all when I first started hand sanding it. And then when I got to a buff point, they actually look kind of cool. Uh, not really my, my cup of tea, but um, not too bad. It's pretty neat. This one's actually a burgundy liner with, or excuse me, burgundy scales with brown, uh, brown canvas liner. And this is a new one for us. It almost has a plum or a purple hue to it right now, but I know it's not going to look like that when we buff it out. I'm sure it'll darken immensely when I get to those final grits on this. But this is uh, an Explore model that we have, or that we call it. Pretty cool. And here's another one as well. And I think this one is just Maple Burl, but it's, it's at like a 220 grit right now, so you really can't see it that well. But uh, I'll go through the grits on that tomorrow. And what I'll do is uh, you'll probably end up after this piece right here, be cutting, uh, cutting till tomorrow, cutting to tomorrow, and see me working on some other stuff. And I'll